Hi, we are discussing about uh, planets in your first house. We have discussed Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter and now we will cover Saturn. Saturn, again you know, the word Saturn puts people into the back seat, they become defensive but that's it. But Saturn is a very important planet, a planet which in today's world makes you to go up very high in life. Without Saturn, you cannot rise. Saturn is the planet which covers the Capricorn, the Aquarius sign, and both the 10th and the 11th. The 10 Capricorn, 11th sign is uh, Aquarius. They're the sign of profession, prestige, and gains. So it is Saturn which actually gives you the profession, it gives you the prestige, it gives you the gain. And without Saturn, nothing is possible. Saturn as a planet governs structure, it governs order, it gives, governs discipline on the positive side. On the other side, it talks about delay. Saturn never denies. It delays so that you are taught, you, you understand things. So Saturn delays things. Saturn gives you a little kind of frustrations. It gives you, but it will give you success after delay and frustration. So Saturn is a planet which is talks about important for the society, important for structure, important for order. Saturn is a planet which thinks. Saturn is a planet which, which uh, talks about discipline yourself. Saturn talks about uh, tells you that you know you have to review things again and again before taking a decision. And Saturn in the ascendant will give you a personality which is akin to Saturn. Those vibrations would be there. You would be a person who would act ascendant as you know as i've been saying ascendant is your personality is yourself is the way you think is the way you operate your other events of life it is the first house that is ascendant which will actually puts your value system and your thought process in place as to then how you will operate to make money with your family with your business with your partner with your relationships your love life whatever that is it is the way you are so that is the way then you start operating it is like that particular pipe which you know which which puts those things in place which then makes you to operate the other areas of life it is it is the you know it is you know the that part of the string which uh, which actually uh, it actually depicts uh, the way you would work in various areas of your life so saturn here will makes you a person which would like structure, you would like order, you would like discipline, you would like to think on things before taking a decision, you would like to delay things. Saturn as a natural malefic will always delay things for you but will not deny things for you. Saturn when in Aries, um, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius is, uh, is at a place where uh, Saturn is not bad in Aries as people think or bad in um, um, bad in uh, Leo or in Sagittarius. It is at this place where uh, Saturn is basically uh, a very important planet. It's like uh, if Sun is the government, Saturn is the Supreme Court. So that's how you have to understand Saturn. So when in Aries, uh, Leo and Sagittarius, it is a place where you know life would operate in such a way that everything which you do would actually land up in the court and the court would decide for you whether it is right or wrong so there will be certain delays you may get frustrated but saturn is a very very important planet as i kept explain you when it is in the sign of uh, leo it will it is like uh, leo is like the central government and saturn is like the court which you know decides various petitions which are filed there. So that is what Saturn is. Saturn when in um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn is excellent. Here Saturn actually gets akin to structure, order. It tries to go to those things which are right, where there is discipline, where there can be a decision can be taken, where it is slow and steady but will win the race, where it can go for lofty, uh, lofty things, think big plan big and do big. So this is what happens when you are in Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Saturn when in Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Again, Saturn is the best. Saturn likes to be at the marketplace. Saturn likes to put structure where there is no structure. So when you are doing business, you don't know what you are going to do. You, you have 20 things, 20 issues at a time to handle. You have to make a per chart. You have to decide how to put things in order. Saturn says, oh, that's my job, let me do it. Even in communication, same thing happens. And even when it comes 
to uh, ge getting gains to whatever you're doing saturn helps you there so saturn is very good in gemini in uh, in um, libra and aquarius saturn well in cancer scorpio and pisces these are signs the emotional signs saturn here is very good which can make you go into fields of uh, uh, fields of psychology field of analysis field of medicines paramedical sciences and so on and so forth because this is where saturn gets into those fields where it starts thinking and then does something and gets it for the society so saturn you can also become a, a, a philosopher a, a, you can also become a, a, a person who starts thinking out of the box preaching and then depending on various other alignments it could become positive or negative so this is what saturn is saturn in ascendant have a look at it closely but it is a place where it will make your mind stable make you more ordered make you a better thinker and i value this uh, placement however it has certain negatives which i have explained this is what was my view on saturn in the ascendant i hope you like this video my uh, my whole um, uh, uh, idea of doing this video is to uh, is that those who are trying to learn astrology or who are interested in astrology uh, understand these basics and then start moving ahead if you want to know more, more about me you can go check out my sites shankar astro and um, shankar study uh, you can go to my facebook uh, you can uh, also buy my books in astrology there are a large number of articles which are there uh, on the articlebase.com and other sites which you could read and you could also get in touch with me if you want uh, this is it uh, for today thanks and bye for now